Welcome to another Sunday's Word broadcast. What a day. What a month. What a year. All of us have experienced unbelievable stresses, strains, circumstances outside of our control. Someone says, do this, and we do it. Others say, we should do that, and we did that. Some then direct us to go here and not go there. Some say, shelter in place. We have been on an unbelievable roller coaster. Of life. But I'm reminded today as I read the book of Isaiah, when I read what Isaiah wrote, he said that Messiah or Christ would come to bring the mountains down and the valleys up, giving us a plain to walk in. I believe that as we pray, the mountains that seem insurmountable <laughs> can be climbed. In fact, Jesus said, if there is a mountain in front of you, say unto that mountain, be cast into the midst of the sea, and it shall be cast into the midst of the sea. He brings the mountains down. He brings the valleys up, and he makes the crooked road straight so we know exactly where he wants us to go. In fact, we read in the book of Psalms, Thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So today, we are looking into his word and believing that he will move as we pray. He will bring the mountains that are larger than us down. He will bring the depths of the valleys up he will take the road that is crooked and causing us much trauma and he will straighten that road and we will move Florida forward. And it brings me great pleasure to introduce to you today our guests that are with us. Uh, all the way to my left, you will see Pastor Ezra Pettit home. He and his wife Ruth, that is in the very center, they pastor our Haitian congregation in the city of Claremont. And then in between those two, we have Barbara Noel. Barbara is going to be translating because... I have asked Pastor Ezra and Ruth to emphasize a time of prayer for Haiti. We have many Haitian uh, members throughout the state of Florida. And this state joins with Haiti, joins with the national office, endeavoring to support them. So here... Pastor Ezra, in just a few moments, will be giving us an encouraging word from Psalm 46, and then will lead us in prayer for the pastors in Haiti as they are endeavoring to walk through these circumstances of life. But before we do, I want to read to you another passage of Scripture in Romans chapter 8. The Bible tells us this, Likewise, the Spirit also helps us in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. Now watch. But the Spirit Himself 
makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is because he makes intercession for the saints. Watch, according to the will of God. Now here, verse 28 and 29. And we know all things work together for good for those who love God and those who are called according to His purpose. Those whom He foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son that He might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom He predestined, these He also called. Whom He called, these He also justified. And whom He justified, these He also glorified. Now, it's tremendously important for us to understand that this is a passage that is directly connected to those that love God and are the called according to His purpose. But then He said, it is those that love God and those that are called according to His purpose, when they pray, even when they don't know what to pray, Holy Spirit makes intercession for them. So as we are a praying body, as we are loving God, as we are embracing the calling and walking worthy of that calling, when we pray, God turns all things around and He works in the best interests of the church and the people that are walking through the struggle. Which brings me to pastors and churches who have been impacted tremendously by COVID, by other physical traumas in their life. In fact, we have about 19 churches that have closed because of COVID in just the last week and a half. Okeechobee, Port St. Lucie, Lifeline, Crescent City, St. Augustine, Punta Gorda, Fort Myers, Marion Street, Fort Myers, Michigan Avenue, Bokelia, Brooksville, Miami Ridgeway, Fort Lauderdale, Glory Train, Lehigh Acres, Northport, Riviera Beach, Naples, Arcadia, Jacksonville, 21st Street, Miami Centerville. We have churches in District 10, churches in District 11, churches in District 12 that have all been impacted by COVID. Miami Gardens, our Love Fellowship congregation has been impacted. Those are the churches that are walking through this now fourth strain of COVID. And then on top of that, my heart goes out to Pastor Reuben Hoskins. He's in the hospital today. Kidney stones, gall stones. And while they were wanting to treat that, they found there is a mass on his pancreas that has moved into his liver area. We need to pray for Reuben, for Mary, and for their family. The Martinez family, Joe and Tony. Joe's sister is in the hospital and hasn't been given much of a chance to live. A nurse and she's battling COVID. And then Tony's mother, who is battling through cancer. The Grundy family, our pastor at Mandarin in Jacksonville, they just recently lost one of their family members and two 
or possibly three in their church have passed. Philip and Jennifer Hobbs recovering from COVID. Ronald Bates, our pastor at Okoy, struggling with heart issues. Brian and Vanessa North, both of them have COVID. And on top of that, Brian has severe heart issues. And then Vanessa's mother also has COVID and she was just placed back in the hospital today. And remember Vanessa's sister just a few days ago. Joyce Millard passed and went to be with Jesus. I can only imagine what this family, the Nov family, are walking in. Mike Beavis, our pastor at Okeechobee, 28 people with COVID. His daughter had COVID, was in the hospital. His brother had COVID, was in the hospital. We need to pray for Pastor Mike Beavis and all of his family and all of his church. Greg, ba Greg Brown, our pastor at Brooksville, I talked with him just a few days ago, and he said, I so desperately want to get back to church. He himself battling with sickness, and six or eight people in his church had had COVID, and they lost two to the virus. Brenda Willis, our pastor's wife at Palm City, struggling. Jack, the Jackson family, our pastor at uh, Port St. Lucie, the whole family with COVID, Curtis Register, his wife Margaret, their son, and two great granddaughters all have COVID. Sister Marion Bumgarner, just about two o'clock today, her son Butch made his way from this life to heaven to be with Jesus. Bishop Raymond Davis, who served this state for many, many years and served this state with distinction, has been in the hospital for several months and on a ventilator today, they removed the ventilator from his body. We're praying that the Lord's perfect will would be done. So you can see the churches and the pastors, it's unbelievable what they're experiencing. So today I want to pray, believing that God will work in the midst of our churches and will work in the midst of our pastors and families for his glory and his honor. So Father, today I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, these pastors and their families are struggling, they're hurting. Father God, their lives are in, in many cases seemingly in turmoil. Mountains in front of them, valleys so deep they don't feel they can climb out of, and roads so curvy they get nauseated on uh, the walk. But Jesus, we're asking that you'd bring the mountains low. And we're asking that you would bring the valleys high. We're asking that you would straighten the crooked path. And you would give each of these pastors, each of these churches, the word of the living God. And that, hallelujah, and that word would be healing balm to the church healing balm to the pastor, to his family. Minister comfort, Father God, to these families who have lost loved ones. Our heart breaks today as we pray, but we know that you are at the right hand of the Father making intercession for all of us. So we take this moment and we pray, placing these churches, placing these pastors in your hands for you to work, Lord, in accordance of your will for your glory and honor. For it's in the name of Jesus that I pray. Amen. Amen, amen. and amen. Psalms 121. 
I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. Mm. My help cometh from the Lord, Hallelujah. which made heaven and earth. Psalms 121. You will lift up your eyes unto the hills. Yes, we do, Lord. From whence cometh your help. Mm. Your help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Would you join me in praying for the pastor's wives in Florida? Father, I thank you today Hallelujah. for being our helper. <laughs> thank you for being my helper. Thank you for being the helper of the pastor's wives scattered across this state. And I thank you, Lord, for the privilege of lifting up my ministry partners tonight. Yes, God. I thank you, first of all, Lord, for answering our prayers of last week. You have moved in the lives of Jennifer Hobbs yes. and Verna Jackson and Vanessa Nolf with regard to COVID in particular. And they all have realized a marked difference. So first of all, Lord, I thank you. I thank you that you have answered our prayers on their behalf. It is when I call this to mind, your faithfulness, that I trust in your provision for the needs of those we bring before you this evening. So, Lord, I ask for a healing touch yes, God. upon Margaret Foster, Margaret Register, and her household, yes. and Brother Register, and their son, and their grandchildren with COVID. I pray over Mary Hoskins at Panama City and Brother Reuben. Lord, your word tells us that you give strength to the weary. And you increase the power of the weak. I pray for Elaine Love's family. Yes. One who has COVID. I lift up Vanessa Nolf's mother who has returned to the hospital with COVID. I lift up Brenda Willis, Lord. And I ask that you would seize, Lord, seize the seizures yes. that she's been facing this week. I lift up Barbara Lynn's son, Brian, Lord, and the recent health challenges that he has faced. And I lift up Mary and Bumgarner, Lord. The heavy heart that she has and the Bumgarner has, the Bumgarner family has today with regard to this loss. Thank you for the promise that you heal the brokenhearted. And I lift up Tony Martinez, Lord as she is seeking to support her mother who is under hospice care. And I pray, Lord, for Karen Miller's family who has suffered another loss in their family today. And I pay, pray, Lord, for Pam Grundy's family, mm -hmm. yet another loss in their family. And I lift up, as I talk about ministry wives, our own Lord, our own granddaughter, Brielle, with COVID, and Please, I ask that Jesus. you touch her as well. Please, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for helping our ministry wives who are hurting, who are sick, who are anxious, who are in need of your comfort, who are tired, who are weary. Thank you, Lord, for the reminder today that you are El Shaddai, God Almighty. <laughs> You are Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, our healer of both our bodies and our minds. Thank you, Lord, that you are Jehovah Shama, the Lord, our peace. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father, that you are with us. Mm -hmm. You are present. And in my absence, Lord, of being with these ministry wives and wanting to care for them and meet their needs, you are present. Care for them, Lord. Shepherd them. Nurture them. Love them. Heal their bodies. 
Comfort them, I pray, and speak peace to their troubled souls. And when we gather next week, we will once again thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer this evening. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hello, everyone. Definitely, Haiti is in a very critical situation. One month after the president was assassinated, we just got hit by 7.2 magnitude earthquake. A lot of people are on the street. They don't have place to stay. For Church of God of Prophecy, six churches have been destroyed in those areas. Church of God of Prophecy, Boilandry, Church of God of Prophecy, Tobek, Church of God of Prophecy, Camperin, Church of God of Prophecy, Brico, Church of God of Prophecy, Mena, and Church of God of Prophecy, Jeremy. The number of dead among our members have changed from 9 to 24. Two middle schools have been destroyed. More than 3,000 homeless members so far. We are calling on each and everyone to help any way you can. To support us, please use the link below. www.flcogob.org Once again, www.flcogob.org flcogov.org Thank you so much. Thank you for your donation and may God bless you. Somme 46, verset 2 Dieu est pour nous un refuge, un appui, un secours qui ne manque jamais dans la détresse. C'est pourquoi nous sommes sans crainte quand la terre est bouleversée et que les montagnes chancellent au cœur des mers. Quand les flots de la mer mugissent et que se soulèvent jusqu'à faire trembler les montagnes. Il est un fleuve dans les courants réjouissent la cité de Dieu, le sanctuaire des demeures du Très-Haut. Dieu est au milieu d'elle, elle n'est point ébranlée. Dieu la secoue dès l'aube du matin. Des nations s'agissent, des royaumes s'ébranlent. Il fait entendre sa voix, la terre se fond d'épouvante. Mm. L'éternel des armées est avec nous. Le Dieu de Jacob est pour nous notre retraite. Venez contempler les œuvres de l'éternel, les ravages qu'il a opérés sur la terre. C'est lui qui a fait cesser les combats jusqu'au bout de la terre. Il a brisé l'arc, il a rompu la lance. Il a consumé par le feu des chars de guerre. Arrêtez et sachez que je suis Dieu. Je domine sur les nations, je domine sur la terre. L'éternel des armes est avec nous. Le Dieu de Jacob est pour nous une autre retraite. Mm. Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth be removed, and though the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters they are of war, mm. and the trouble that the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river, the yes. stream, where shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right her early. The hurt and rage, the kingdoms were moved. He ordered his voice. Is the earth melting? The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Salem. Come, behold the works of the Lord. Yes. What desolation he had made on the earth. He marked wars to seize into the end of the earth. He broke the back. He killed the, the spear in sunder. He burned the ch uh, chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I'm your God. I will be exalted among the hidden. He will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. 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 Merci. Thank you, Brother David, for inviting me uh, to come here uh, this evening. So, Jodi, on a parlé d'un bagage qui est très important. 
Today we will talk about something very important. Nous réaliser dans quelle situation nous y est. We realize what kind of situation we in today. Les nous défaites moi-même. When I was born myself. Bagay moi ouais, pas de penser ne t'apprêt. Thing that I saw, I would never seen today. Les bagay moi ouais, c'est bagay extraordinaire. Things that I'm seeing today is extraordinary. Ne pas de penser ne t'apprêt une maladie qui a détruit tout le monde ça. I would never thought that we'll see and live a disease that will be killing people. Ne pas de penser ne t'apprêt de tout bagay ça en Haïti. I would never thought that I would be hearing things that are coming from Haiti, my country. Mais les faits. But it's happening. Mais nous dit bon Dieu merci nous dans l'évangile. But we thank God for the gospel. Nous dit bon Dieu merci parce que l'évangile bande force. Because we thank God because the gospel gave us strength. Il bande côté pour nous passer. It gave the gospel gave us a way to pass. Il dit ça pour nous faire. The gospel tell us what to do. Et dans Somme 46. And in Psalm 46. Nous avons des trois bagages qui sont très importants. We see there are three things that's happening we don't have much time. Il dit l'Éternel c'est refuge nous. It say God is our refuge. L'Éternel ça appuie nous. God is our strength. L'Éternel c'est secours nous. God is our strength. Monsieur qui parle, the, the men that are talking, ils ont dit qu'on s'est qu'on raison de faire somme ça t'es écrit. They said there are, there are reason that the psalm was written. Ils ont dit Josaphat est entravé. They said Josaphat was uh, in trouble. Monsieur t'es pris dans un. He was in, in trouble with people. Lorsque il réalise, then he realized, il y a trois nations qui campent contre lui. There are three nations stand against. Et nation ça yo di fuck yo fin avec. And those nations say we have to be done mm -hmm. with you. Moi habit yo di fuck yo fin avec. The Mohammed said we got to be done with you. Ano mit yo di fuck yo fin avec. The Hanumit said we got you got to be done with you. Et do mit yo di fuck yo fin avec. And the Hanumit say we have to be done with you. Les Joseph a well entravé. And when Joseph I saw that he was in trouble. Il tombe en roi intelligent. He was the a king, he was a intelligent king. Il était comme ça la prière qu'a fait. The king was smart, he knows about prayers. Il comme ça la prière qu'a fait. He knows what prayers can do. Et ça ça fait moi aimer bon Dieu. This is why I love God. Bon Dieu toujours bon moyen pour nous passer. God give us a way a path to go. Il toujours bon nous bagaille pour nous passer. He God he give us a path and things to go. Parce que bon Dieu répond à la prière. Because God answers to prayer. L'homme en trave. When somebody is in trouble. L'homme comme ça pour faire. When you have nowhere to go, you know what to do. Look for God. Cherchez bon Dieu. Look for His face. Parce que le gars solution. Because God has the solution. En vérité. I swear. Na sandra la. I'm telling you, behold, look, the thing we're going through today. Bon Dieu, gars solution. God has the solution. Même si on a mouru à gauche. Even people are dying left and right. Même si on a détruit. Even people are destroyed. Bon Dieu, gars solution dans la vie. God has the solution in prayer. Joseph was intelligent. Joseph was very intelligent. Lipa au côté gouverneur. He was smart not to go to the governor. Lipa au côté moun comme moun qui entoure il. He didn't go to the governors or anybody around. Mais la lente bon Dieu. But he went to the temple. La lente Bon Dieu, he went to the temple of God. Et puis il prend la And he received. He took the letter. Il dit l'Éternel les amis. He lifted up the letter and said, God. Est-ce qu'on est menacé? God of salvation, do you see the menace? Est-ce qu'on est? Parce qu'il a dit qu'on nous. Do you see things that are the same? Est-ce qu'on est? Ça ouvre les fenêtres. Do you see what they want to do to us? L'Éternel est-ce qu'on prête et qu'on s'abstient? God, are you gonna stand by and do nothing? Est-ce qu'on va agir? Are you gonna react? Bon Dieu ben oui. God bless you. Ne s'agit pas c'est la fin. Nous aimons l'Éternel les amis. Things that we go through today, we have to call your name. Ne s'agit pas de problème. Ah, c'est pour nous aider Jésus-Christ. Oui. Jésus en vérité, j'ai le Covid a des oreilles pour le temps. Il Covid a des oreilles Jésus par la veille. Il a par la veille. Tremblement de terre, Jésus t'a par la veille. Let listen, God is talking. Bonjour. Let yeah. me tell you. Qui est-ce qui a campé devant puissance? Who can stand in the power of God? Qui est-ce qui a campé devant autorité bon Dieu? Who can stand in the authority of the Lord? Bon Dieu, malade ou pas capable? Disease you can't. Malade ou pas capable? Disease you can't. Tremblement de terre pas capable? Earthquake you can't. Cyclone ou pas capable? Any earthquake you can't. Diable pas capable? The devil, you can't. You pa you pa ka kampé devant puissance, mon Dieu. You can stand in the power of the Lord. Mon Dieu, nous allons lire, lire, contrôler tout bagarre, je dis. The Lord control everything. Yes, He did. Il dit, what God did pour ça y a fallu à mon Jésus. He said, God, you're gonna stand by and let us see, look what they're doing to us. Jésus, est-ce qu'on kampé pour garder pour sa maladie, sa problème, sa grande boue fait nous là, Jésus. God, we're talking. Are you gonna stand by and see what the disease is doing to us? C'est où ce pour nous? You are our strength. C'est au même qui refuge nous. You are our refuge. Nous pas de monde. We have no one. Nous même en Haïti nous pas de monde. In Haiti we have no one. Nous pas de président. We don't have any president. Nous pas de monde qui pense pour nous. We have no one thinking about us. 
thing about us. Mais ça qui est important, nous bien l'éternel des armées. The most important thing we have Jesus, the yeah. God of faith. Nous bien Jésus mon côté. We have Jesus on our side. Nous pas peur, nous pas peur. We not afraid. Nous pas crainte parce que Jésus avec nous. We are not afraid because we have Jesus. Si Jésus avec nous, qui ça l'homme qu'a fait? If God is with us, what lo- 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 the people can do for us? Si Jésus avec nous, qui ça maladie qu'a fait? What disease can do? Et ça fait ma marcher dans vallée batam pas peur. What can disease do? That's why when we walk in the valley of the death and evil, we not fear. Right. Parce que Jésus avec. Because Jesus is with us. Peuple haïtien. Our people in Haiti. Ou même qui vivent ici avec Covid. Our Asian people that live here in America with Covid. Et ou même tout blanc ou bien quel que soit nation il y a Covid. Any nation, anywhere you from, if you have Covid. Bam tout ça. Let me tell you. Jésus capable. Jesus can. Jésus capable. Jesus can. Ma l'homme moi pas de catembel. That will not mm. hold them. Ti Covid trop petit. Covid is too small. Pas gagner catembel Jésus. There is nothing that can hold Jesus back. Séchez de l'eau dans Dieu. Wipe your tears away. Sécher de l'eau dans Dieu. Wipe your tears away. À la prière. Go pray. À la prière. Go pray. Lord, le voix bleu vont l'autre monde. Lift up your name in his name in prayers and you're going to wake up a different person. Lord, le voix bleu va avec grâce. You're going to get up with grace. Ou à le voix bleu va onction. We're going to get up with action and grace. Avec puissance. You're going to get up with power. Pour marcher sous maladie ça au nom de Jésus. To walk upon this disease in the name of Jesus. Jésus. In the name of Jesus. Ou à marcher sous maladie ça. You're gonna walk towards the disease. Cyclone, no? Even though the earthquake. Ni earthquake la. Even though the earthquake. Ni, ni, ni COVID la. Either COVID. Ni insecurity a. Either insecurity. Jesus has control of Jesus have control of all yes. of it. Yes. Que bon Dieu bénie. Yes. God bless you. Amen. 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 Pray, brother. Pray. God. Amen. 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 Let us pray. We're gonna pray. Dieu tout puissant. God. <laughs> Dieu tout puissant. Our powerful Lord. Bon Dieu papa qui dans le ciel là. My father in heaven. Nous connons des puissances. I know you have power. Ça veut dire que vous toujours des mêmes puissances. Oh, seven know you have power. Ou toujours des mêmes puissances. You always have the same power. Parole ou des forces toujours. Your word have strength in it. À souhait à l'Éternel des amis. This afternoon oh Lord. Nous allons lire pile pasteur qui a passé un moment difficile. We realize there's a lot of pastor going through tough times. Et pile l'église fermée. A lot of church has closed the doors. En pile monde frappé. A lot of people been hit. Chaque jour c'est un thème. Every day there's a funeral. Chaque jour c'est crié. Every day people are crying. Je dis à l'Éternel des amis. Today oh Lord. Nous vivons crier pour grâce. We pray you for your grace. Nous vivons crier pour grâce sur l'Éternel. We cry upon your grace. Parce qu'on gagne solution pour toute situation. solution pour tout ça. I know you have a solution for everything that's Pas de rien qu'à camper devant Jésus. Mon Dieu, tu as dit tu as fait miracle déjà. Vous le fait pour qui mourir. Vous le fait pour qui ont travaillé. Vous le fait pour qui pas capable. Mais quand même dit au mort. Nous comptons sur présence, nous sur grâce. Nous comptons sur l'intervention. Nous comptons sur l'intervention, l'éternel des amis. Ou à l'issue de faire grande intervention déjà. Ou le Vélazar qui était mouru. Ou t'as marché, l'éternel. Ou on dame qui perdit petite loup ressuscité. Ou d'un pilon nous pas qu'on mouri. Ou d'un pilon qui pas qu'on mouri. Ou d'un pilon nous frappé par Covid même pas qu'on mouri. Que laisse nous faire appel à l'esprit ça. Let's resurrection. Let's resurrection. Let's resurrection. Let's resurrection. Let's be my life. The spirit that give life. Intervention. Kumia. Intervene in our prayer today. In the name of Jesus. 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 Yeah. Ça ne peut pas faire affaire pour Things that we can't do, do it for us, oh Lord. Ça ne peut pas faire affaire pour le pasteur. Do it for us, we can't, oh Lord. Parce que pas capable de faire affaire. The pastor can't, Lord. Parce que on trave. The pastor in trouble, Lord. Nous on trave. We're in trouble, Lord. Nous pas qu'on nous pas des réponses à rien. We have no answers, Lord. I Mais on des réponses à l'éternel des amis. But you have amis. all answers, God. Fais nous yeah. grâce au nom de Jésus. Oh God, we're crying upon your grace. Au nom de Jésus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in great pasture. He laded me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He laid me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, how I walk through the valley of the, sh of the shadow of the dead. I will not fear no evil, for thou art with me. The world and thy staff, they comfort me. So prepare a table before me in the presence of the mind of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup wound over. Surely, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 In this moment, we know that our ancient people are uh, going to tough time. So now, for instability politics, coming from the Puerto Rico standards to the, the, the disasters that's going on right now. Nous ne pas grand-chose, quel que soit nous ta utilisé pour ta reconforter, pas de mot de ta voix. Nous ne connaissons bon Dieu dans ciel là. Papa nous dit que c'est moi. Nous connaissons lui même qui capable de comforter. Nous allons nous dans la prière. Papa nous qui dans ciel là. Nous bénissons le nom de Dieu nom de Dieu tout puissant. Nous allons parler d'éternité en vain. C'est moi qui te contrôle. C'est moi qui te contrôle. C'est moi qui te Contre le cyclone, tout nature là, c'est un bar contre le monde, c'est le Jésus, le même message. Nous devons faire nous avec ce nous, le pasteur, nous nous disons, c'est le Jésus, qui a accepté par un coup de ça, c'est le Jésus, pas tout ça. La mort de l'autre, c'est le Jésus. On va aller côté de l'autre, on va se toucher, ça va être permis en bas, 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 You, you are the refuge, God. You're not going to leave them alone. You're not going to leave us all from them. We're not going to be an orphan, God. Any family, Lord, who have been put a past away during this earthquake, I ask you, God, to look after them. Look after them, Lord. 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 Look after them,
through five. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Who forgives all of our iniquities. Who heals all of our diseases. Who redeems your life from destruction. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. Who satisfies your mouth with good things. So that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Portion of Psalm 46. Pastor. Dieu est pour nous un refuge, un appui, un secours qui ne manque jamais dans la détresse. C'est pourquoi nous sommes sans crainte quand la terre est bouleversée et que les montagnes chancellent au cœur des mers. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not we fear, thou the earth be moved, and thou the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea. Thou the waters thereof roar, and the trouble thou the mountain shake with the swelling thereof. So, amen. <laughs> Isaiah 55, verses 6 through 7. Yes. Isaiah 55, verses 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Amen. 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 The reason that we have concluded our time of prayer with scripture is because of the passage that Brenda shared in Psalm 107, verse 20, that said, He, God, sent his word, and healed all of their diseases. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we want to declare. We're declaring the word of the Lord over you today, believing that he has sent his word, and his word has healed your disease. Hallelujah. His word has healed your disease. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. And right now, what we're going to do, we're going to join you in just blessing the Lord, thanking Him for what we know He's going to do. And all of us are going to pray together at one time. And we want you to join us in blessing the Lord. Oh my soul and all that is within me. Father God, we have come to you today and we brought our petitions to you, oh Lord. <laughs> we bless your name. We honor you, Lord. We glorify you, Father God. <laughs> we love you, Jesus. You are a very present help in times of trouble. You are there when no one is around us. And then you love us enough to bring people to surround us, to care for us, to love us, to minister to us, to bind up our brokenness, to heal the wounds of our <laughs> oh God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, 
Jesus, we place these circumstances that we talked about, Father God, in Florida, the pastors, the churches, the pastors' wives, and Lord, those pastors and companions and churches in Haiti, God, come to their rescue, minister to their needs, and we thank you because we know you are right there ministering right there working in their behalf for your glory and Lord God for our benefit we are grateful today we're grateful today we're grateful today we're grateful today oh God hallelujah hallelujah we, we, hallelujah, we can't forget other parts of our world that are struggling right now. Our sister churches in Tennessee, our sister churches in Mexico, our sister churches in New York, our sister churches in Afghanistan, in Tennessee, unbelievable flooding. I saw pictures today of churches underwater because of torrential rains. I also know that there are about 10 people from that flooding dead and 40 people are missing. I have not heard if any of our people are a part of that 40 or a part of those 10, we're not sure, but we do know that we have had churches, parsonages, pastors and their families impacted by the flooding. We also know that there's been torrential rains in New York because of the hurricane there. We also know there has been unbelievable flooding, unbelievable issues in Mexico and we are praying there. And then to think about what's going on in Afghanistan today. I got word from our global missions department from our international office. And we've verified that the Church of God of Prophecy has seven house churches inside that volatile, unstable situation we want to pray fervently for their safety due to the sensitive nature and the life-threatening issues that are going on there. There won't be any additional details, but I'm asking that you pray for Afghanistan. You pray for Mexico. You pray for New York. You pray for Tennessee. And we will believe that God will work His will, His miracles to perform. So we're going to once again join our voices together, blending for prayer for all four of these states and nations countries of the world. Father God, we come to you again and we pray for Afghanistan. We pray for the Americans that are there. We pray for the Christian churches that are there, that have been planted in a Muslim country, Lord, that you would work miraculously in Afghanistan. Lord God, as, hallelujah, as you work when Paul and Silas were in prison, work, God, work and see that those people in Afghanistan are released to safety, are released. Returned to America are 
even asylum in other countries of the world work, God, after the counsel of your will in behalf of your people in Afghanistan. I pray for our Mexico churches, our pastors and their families. I pray for Tennessee and New York, God, that you will minister your grace to all of the Christians in those states, Lord of the United States. Minister your the grace there, Lord. Protect them from harm and danger. You said that the waters would not overflow them. Lord, they may be in deep waters, but they will not be destroyed by the waters that rise around them. Bring those believers to the top, O oh Lord, that they might give you glory and honor and blessing and power. So our trust is in you, and we believe that you are working in our best interest for your glory and for your honor. We are grateful, Father God, for what you are doing all around us as we in Florida are moving forward in your name. Amen. And amen and amen. Wow, what a wonderful time of prayer we have had together. What a joy to have had Pastor and Ruth pet at home with us. What a joy, what an inspired exhortation you yes, shared yes. with us from Psalm 46. Thank you for that word, Pastor. Thank you for that word, Sister Ruth, from Psalm 23. The Lord most certainly is our shepherd. Hallelujah. And when he is our shepherd, there is nothing that we have need of that he will not provide. If you believe that, why don't you say amen? Hallelujah. We believe it today. What he has said, he will do, he will do. And then we're grateful for Sister Barbara being with us today, thanking us or thanking her that we could understand what Pastor and his wife were saying. If you weren't here, I wouldn't have been blessed as much. You know, so you, you, help, you helped us so very much. And you also help all those that have been viewers. Hallelujah. Wow, I feel his presence still today. Where two or three or three are gathered together in his name there. Watch this. He is in the midst of them. We're feeling his presence today. Oh my, what a wonderful afternoon it has been. I pray that you will continue to follow us uh, on our Facebook page as we post things on a daily basis, things that are transpiring around the state of Florida, encouraging words, and also give you an opportunity to help us help Haiti. You can go to our website at flcogop.org. There is a place there you can make a donation. You can also go to the Facebook page. You can also go to the app on your smartphone or any mobile device as you have downloaded the app, uh, which is if you search in the app store, Florida Church of God of Prophecy, download that app so that you can keep up with everything that's going on in the ministries of the Church of God of Prophecy. And when you do, you're probably going to find that we have had to postpone our uh, conference that was scheduled for September 3rd, 4th, and 5th. We felt like that it was in the best interest of our churches to postpone it, and we're looking toward January. Uh, the uh, conference center, Rosin Shingle Creek, have been wonderful to work with us and willing to postpone until January, and I'm praying that 
pastors, churches, leaders, the membership of Florida, as we continue to move forward in January, things are going to be much different and we'll gather in the name of the Lord to bring glory and honor and blessing to His name. Have a marvelous week. And we'll look forward to seeing you next Sunday for Sunday's Word.